hello guys welcome or welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to be um playing with the morphe x many and ua glam palette so um this is somewhat new it's not like brand new but i just got it yesterday and here's what it looks like it has like a marble print on it and then it says uh, Morphe X MUA on the little binding. Um, now when you open it up, of course it has a mirror and then it has these um, shades here. So we are going to play with this. Um, I did swash them yesterday. They didn't swash very nicely to be honest. Um, but of course, like I know some people are like swashing isn't like a um, like a full indication of how the product's gonna be. So. I already have like my base on, foundation, concealer, all of that stuff, so we can just jump right in to this. Got my makeup brushes, got my color switch. I reviewed this in my last video if you guys want to check it out. And my brush cleaner, of course. So let's just dive right in, okay? So I think I'm gonna start off. So th these two shades look exactly the same to me. They're like a shade off, these two, and they're right next to each other. Um, I kind of feel like he should have put a completely different shade in because they're just way too similar to have both like they're just way too similar so I don't know I guess we'll just mix both because they look pretty much the same so I really like that it comes with a mirror though I like the size of it it's a nice size it's like um, perfect for I have like pretty small hands so it's perfect to fit in my hands to where it doesn't feel too big the size of the mirror is very very decent I really really like it um, I like the size of the pans, like of the eyeshadows. They're not too big, but they're not too small. They're pretty average size for Morphe. I feel like Morphe always does like the same size of round pans. The square ones are decently big, um, so I really like that. Um, these shades that I'm going into are Sophie and Boy Next Door. <sighs> they have kind of a lot of fallout, a little bit in the pan anyway. It's not really on my eyes, but. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Zaya, which is this little bit of a darker taupe, pretty much brown shade. Okay. Um, let's see, which one do I want to go in with next? I think I'm going to go in with Fire Witch. Um, I'm going to go in actually on a different brush. Let's see. This more tapered brush, I'm going to take Fire Witch kind of like a peachy shade. I'm just gonna kind of disperse that everywhere in the crease, just kind of give it like a peach colored effect. It's looking more orangey on my lid and on the brush. It looks more orange than like the peachy shade that it shows up in the pan. If you ask me, it's kind of what I'm seeing. Doesn't look bad though, I like it. Okay. Now I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to take out this color. I'm going to go in, I think, with Spellbound, which is this darker shade, and a little bit of Gamita. I believe that's like grandma in Spanish, Gamita. I don't know. I say, like, in the Spanish, like we speak where I'm from, um, we say abuelita, but I've heard people say like gamita too, so I don't know if I'm even saying this right. Yeah, gamenta, no, gamenta, I don't know. I don't even know what this says. <laughs> um, something like that. I was like, why does he have grandma in here? But, um, I don't know, the Spanish is a little bit weird where I live. Like, it's, it's just a mixture of a lot of different kind of Spanish, so it's just like, some people say things differently. And some people will correct other people. I don't know. I think all of it's right in its own way just because they're from different parts of the world and stuff. But yeah. Okay. And then I think I'm going to go in with Howl, but like just a tad, like just kind of a tap of the brush. Not too much. Just kind of add some dimension in the outer corner. I really don't want it to be too like defined of a color. Okay. And then I'm going to take like a fluffy brush and just kind of blend all of those colors together a little bit more. 
this brush just doesn't have like any pig like any color on it or anything it's just a clean fluffier brush okay now let's see how do i want to do the eyes i think honestly i know that these are like i think these are supposed to be highlighter shades but i want to use this one on my lid this one is called nova um so i really want to try that it's really pretty it's like the same shade as my shirt but it has shimmer in it it's like really pretty oh yeah that's super pretty wow that's really pretty and the this like shade doesn't have like any fallout in the pan which is really nice or not that i can see yeah it's really pretty it's almost like depending on how you look at it like the lighting it it looks like kind of white but like kind of peachy i don't know how to explain it but yeah um Let's see, I think I want to go in with Apollo and Scorpio. That's my sign as well. I'm just going to like mix them. This one's just like the gold highlighter shade and this one's just the gold eyeshadow shade. So I'm going to kind of use that like as in the outer corner just to add some like dimension there and just kind of make it a little bit different. It's really pretty. Okay, I think I want to add um, this shade also in the inner corner because it's so like, I don't know, it's like the brightest shimmer shade in here. So there's that. And then I'm going to go in with Dust Cloud. It's just like a, like, um matte ivory shade basically i'm just gonna use that on the brow bone i really like matte shades for my brow bone so i really appreciate that this shade is matte sometimes they'll put a shimmery one and i don't like my brow bone to like look like it does highlighter on it okay so i'm going to finish off my face and then come back to the eyes i'm also going to come back and use these highlighters just to see like what they're like as highlighters um but let me just do blush and everything else. I am back. I'm gonna take my highlighter brush and just kind of take the previous highlighter pigment off of it. One thing I will say is this like sponge thing gets dirty very quickly. I'm gonna switch it to the other side. Start using that side till it's really dirty. Then I'll clean it, but okay. All right. Let's see, I think I want to use, um, let's see, that one is pretty. Ugh, I don't know, I'm torn, they're so pretty. I don't know which one to use. One's just like a little bit more golden and one's a little bit more like, like, you know, like this one's more like neutral and this one's more warm. Hmm which one looks better on my hand this one looks more subtle and this one looks i don't know let's see we'll try i guess we'll just try like both of them like i'll start with apollo which is this one and then put novi on top since it's more dramatic so apollo let's see um okay it's not like I don't know if you can see that. I really like how subtle it is. I honestly don't like super crazy highlighters. This looks super natural. I really like how this is looking. It looks like super natural, like, cause like it blends into my skin. It doesn't look like it's sitting on top or anything. It looks like it's really coming from my skin. So that's interesting. Okay, now I'm gonna do my nose. Okay, now I'm gonna do my like chin and forehead. I love how like subtle it is. It's really pretty. I honestly don't wanna put the other one on top. I think I'm just gonna put it on my cheekbones, like um, put Novia just on my cheekbones and like not on my nose or forehead because I think it'll be too dramatic. Let's see. Mm, not really actually. I mean, it does make it a little bit more dramatic but it still looks like pretty like like natural really blended into my skin kind of really like it 
Okay, I might have put a little too much on this side. You could definitely tell the difference. I don't know if it's the way the light's hitting it, but you can definitely like see the gleam. They're not bad though. They're not super dramatic. I don't really like super duper dramatic highlights. Um, I just think like they can just be like too much. Um, but that's just me. I know a lot of people like dramatic highlights a big thing, but it's just not, not for me. I don't want to look like too dramatic. It's just not my vibe. Um, okay. Now I'm going to kind of just smoke out the lower lash line a little bit. All right, I'm going to take Fire Witch, which is that peachy kind of orangey shade for my lower lash line. I like to put brighter shades, like some of the brightest shades I used on my lower lash line, just because I don't want it to look dark under there, because, you know, then I feel like it kind of look like, you know, like you have dark circles under your eyes. Um, so I want to try to use like colors and stuff. I probably won't use any of the browns. I think I'll go in with Novia for like the inner corner, just kind of meet with the the tear duct since it's in the tear duct. I just kind of go over it. Really makes this look like a brighter like it makes it look like this is a shimmery shade kind of when I go over it. Perfect. I think that's all I'm going to do. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do mascara and eyeliner and stuff, and then I'll be back with my final thoughts on the palette. Okay. Final thoughts on the Manny MUA X Morphe palette. I really enjoy the size. Um, here's kind of like a reference. Here's my hand. Granted, I do have like kind of smallish hands, um, but yeah. Um, the packaging is kind of cool. I feel like he could have done a little bit better on the packaging TBH. Like, I feel like, I don't know, whenever I see people do, like, marble anything, I'm like, you were just lazy. Like, you just slapped, like, marble and were like, heck yeah. Like, I don't know. I just feel like for Manny, I would, like, this seems to be more Manny's thing. Like, how, like, the binding is with, like, the galaxy themed. Because, like, of his intro and Lunar Beauty, a lot of the stuff is, like, pinkish purple. Like, that seems more Manny. The marble does not... I don't associate marble with Manny, so I'm a little, like, eh. Okay. I'll, but, like, even just this, like, him collaborating with Morphe, I'm like, Manny, like, you have your own beauty stuff. But that's besides the point. That's just my, my little bit of thoughts when I see this. But that's not really like anything to do with the product so yeah i like the size of it i like that i can you know hold it in my hands really nicely in every way that i would hold it so that's really nice because some palettes are just too big but i like the size of it i like that it has a mirror and i like the size of the mirror the mirror also says morphe um and manny on it which is cool the inside seems very manny anyway like this color scheme here and everything this seems very manny when i open it um i like the idea of the palette i like how he set it up i like how he gave you like some highlighters here um just that way like if you travel you kind of don't have to bring something extra and you can take it i mean obviously i know like with covid and everything no one's traveling but for future reference like it'd be kind of cool for traveling um so i like how it's set up i like how there's a variety of shades i just wish there was more variety of colors and i know he i think this is the one that he mentioned where he wanted it to be like more neutral but even like in a neutral sense i feel like you could have given more variety of color um but that's just kind of like my way like these two shades like how i told you they're just way too similar that i feel like he could have just put a completely like a more different shade i mean they're a little bit different but they're just too similar i feel like to have in the same palette right next to each other um so that's just that. Um, I really like the highlighters. I like them on the eyes, on the face. They are beautiful. They are totally up my alley with what I like in a highlighter. So personally, the highlighters are my favorite out of the palettes. Um, to be honest, the highlighters, I would buy these like individually if he sold them that way and not buy the eyeshadow if I had the choice. Um, the eyeshadows, they were fine. They do have a lot of um, fallout in the pan, which I noticed like Morphe doesn't really have that ever. Like they don't have fallout anywhere. 
um, like, I don't know, I guess I've never noticed till now, um, but this one did, so it's kind of weird. I really like how the shades are underneath, um, or the shade names are underneath the shade. That to me is like super convenient. I just really like that. Um, so yeah, let's see. What would I rate this out of 10? I think I'll rate it like a six or a seven. I know that that might be kind of harsh. It's just that the color story doesn't make sense to me. Like what? I don't know. I just feel like you have this co these colors in some other palette. I know I definitely have this one um, and all the browns and stuff. I know I have this one. This one I might not have the exact shade, but I have one similar and this one, but the rest of them I have somewhere else. Um, so that's just why I'm like, what? Like they're just, I don't know. It's just, it just seemed like I don't want to be like, I love Manny. I watch him all the time and everything, but I just feel like this was just like, oh, like, I just want to make some quick money. Let me just throw a palette out there. Like, I don't know. It just, to me, it doesn't make sense. I'm like, what's happening? Um, but the palette itself, like I said, I like the size. I like the idea of it. I just don't like the color story, really. I feel like it doesn't make sense and it could have been better. Like his palettes, like from Lunar Beauty and stuff, like those make sense. Like he explains them. He explains the names. Like they make sense to me. This one, I'm like, what? What is happening? I don't know. But yeah, I don't think... Unless you love Manny or you really want the highlighters, you don't really need this palette. Or if you want a traveling palette that's not, you know, crazy expensive, Morphe, like this one would be a good one. But other than that, I don't think you need it, TBH. Like, I don't think it was that great, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I think of this palette. But I mean, I will continue to use it because I have it, you know? But I just, I probably won't reach for it a lot. I'll probably reach for it for the mirror and the highlighters more than anything. But yeah, that's, those are my final thoughts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, um, please don't get offended. Like if you love Manny, I love him too. This palette is just, I feel like it could have been done better. But um, it's, you know, it's not bad. It's not the worst palette I've ever used in my life. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This will be in my collection. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.